The settlement of large circular wooden houses built on stilts collapsed in a fire somewhere around 1000 BC. The reason it is in such pristine condition now is that the burning structures plunged into a river where they were preserved in silts. Here we are in the UK digging a structure that seems to be preserved almost intact with its roof still there and floors and all of its contents. And as someone working in prehistory in Britain, that's not something I thought I'd ever say. So if that's particularly why it's important. But also their misfortune of it burning down is our good fortune in the sense that it's a sort of Pompeii effect. It's, it's allowed us to see their contents, their, 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 their goods basically preserved in situ. About two metres below the modern ground surface at the site in Whittlesea, central England, the finds include glass beads that were part of a necklace, finely woven clothing, tools, rare small cups, pots, bowls and jars. Some of the bowls still had food preserved inside them. We found 29 complete vessels, which is something that's really exciting for archaeologists. But what's even better than that is that there's actually preserved food remains within here. And this food is basically the remains of the meal that was being eaten at the time the settlement was destroyed by a fire, which is something that is phenomenally rare to find, not just in Britain, but in Europe. The site is so well preserved that even footprints of those who lived then have been discovered. Um, I think it will be viewed as one of the kind of turning points in British archaeology. Once all the items found at the site have been catalogued and cleaned, they will be put on public display. Abdiel Leroy, CCTV.